Getting to Erica's mix-up. What do you think? This is what he's asking all of us on Twitter. Receipts will be posted later today. We tried to dumb this down as you always request. So we are holding off on the receipts until we get a consensus. Everyone understands. Ask, ask any questions you would like. Um, and then let's see. What did people write? Uh, I'm sure they had quite a few questions to that. People are like, no way. Um, it's just going to be another reason why everyone goes off on Erica Jane. Uh, yeah, but it's also like, I just feel like there's no... Um, it's very confusing that he put this out. Um, okay, then somebody wrote to him, what is the likelihood that EJ sold the 750K diamonds, replaced them with much cheaper diamonds and pocketed the difference? Ronald writes, we can't guess like that. Um, I'm wondering if you, Ron, are the attorney working on the case. Two, do you really think Erica should give up everything that Tom paid for? Yes, we have a case against her. And yes, she should pay the victims. I don't know. It's just to me, I hope people... Like it's it's, it's such a burger. You know what I mean? It's like, okay. Well, see. what's also going on now? We have to look into this. Who came up with this about Diana lied? Okay, well, God, I hope these people have the correct. Um, although, you know what? This, this is kind of like a really interesting one because your lawyer friend there, the one that's become so popular from the Johnny Depp trial. She had this guy on as a guest. So supposedly this guy, uh, a lawyer confirms that Diana Jenkins lied about the $100,000 donation to the um, plane crash victims and says it's total crap. I'll be curious. Jay Edelson of Edelson PC, the law firm suing Tom and Erica on behalf of Lion Air Flight victims, recently revealed that the reality star did not donate as promised. The class action lawyer has previously claimed Diana had not reached out to the Chicago-based firm for assistance in locating the five families of the other 184 crash victims defrauded in the settlement money from Tom Girardi. He appeared on Emily Baker's podcast for an interview and spoke candidly about Diana. First, he commented about how difficult it is to watch Erica Jane, yada, yada, of course, um, and her extravagant life. Um, and then he goes on to basically say the hundred thousand donation to the widows and orphans of the Lion Air plane crash, even the ones who claim that they care about the victims, who's the most recent housewife getting booted off. He's referring to Diana and he essentially says, um, that it was crap. Interesting. Really? Posted, I know she posted a letter. Basically, or well, I guess it was a press release, and he finds that to be so shady. He says that she what Diana, like that. Hey, everyone, I'm I'm donating. I just want to let you know. Yeah, he says. So but it was all a fraud. Okay, that's what he claims. But boy, I and I guess I mean you're on Emily Baker's podcast, and <clears throat> you know how litigious Diana is. So I guess it better be true. I mean, it sounds like it's true, Jesus. I mean, it's not It's not going to make anyone more ingratiated towards Diana Jenkins. That's for sure. And does anyone even care about that anymore? I don't know. I'm so over. I mean, God, am I just so fickle that like once the season's over? I mean, you know, Andy has spoken out too now recently about, you know, listen, I think it was, I think it's a little confusing because first Andy made the statement that Beverly Hills is on pause until January. My understanding is now his new statement is like kind of backtracking the January thing yes. and saying like, you know, this is on pause and we need to revisit it in the new year. So it's like, I don't think it's the same thing. I think it's now like, listen, I'm not sure January is happening, guys. Right. Is that how you take it? That's how I take it. Our podcast episode today is just like clear is just like confusion and clearing up confusion. So essentially, exactly. You just nailed it. It's not, it's on pause in the sense that it's, it's what you had predicted and you and I had talked about for weeks, which is it's taking a couple month break and it will be back filming in January. He won't confirm who's on, which to me leads all of our theories. Ren is back. I don't you even know. think it's January though. I, I thought that his statement made it like, no, it's going to be longer. That's, that's how I took it. Oh, I took it as like, it's a couple month break, but they'll be back filming first of 2023. Mm. I, I well, that's in like two weeks, Sarah. That's in like, it's three weeks. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. You, you think, you don't think it will be back in January. You think they'll wait longer. 
I do. I thought that his initial statement was January, which it was. That's true. And the new statement is not mentioning any, like, why did the press make it such a big deal if the second statement was like the same as the first? I took the second one to be like, you know, we're taking a several month break. I don't know. Several months to me is not January. That's like only two and a half months. I thought it was like, let's try to figure this out. I I, I think it's going to be longer. I don't think, I mean, I don't think enough time has really passed. I mean, yeah, we have to film it and everything. I just think we're in for a, a, a little break. I think we're in for a longer break. I mean, I could see, you know, because like you said, look, we're basically in December. So, you know, January 1, you know, so yeah. I could see this starting more in March. But I mean, I think, I don't think it's like, yeah, it's not the back-to-back -back filming they experienced before. But to me, I think this statement from Andy says there's a lot less controversy for them behind the scenes than there is for us, if that makes sense. Do you know? Like, I know you all had a crazy... I mean, he did go on to say it was a, it was a record-breaking season, everyone. So you right. think what? Like, just like, there's not... Like, we're not really reevaluating Rina as much as you all think. And like, I, yeah. Status, yeah. Quo, status quo, guys. His ratings speak. I mean, rating they, they had enormous ratings. And I personally think that he wants to break it because, you know, he wants to let RHOP and Salt Lake kind of have their mm. moment. In that article, he said, oh, well, we're in the midst of one of the greatest seasons of Salt Lake. Yes. So far. he did Which say that. You don't agree with. It's OK. It's not it's not as great. But I think, you know. He knows, like, if ever if he says we're we're starting to film February one, I mean, people are going to kind of be like just anticipating that drama. I think if he just doesn't have a date, it's still like let's let everything play out. I I think he's leaving the door open, and I do think there will be a Jen Shaw special. They'll want that to be very highly rated and talked about probably in January because now her sentencing has been pushed back to January six. This hmm. woman, I mean, I don't know how it keeps getting delayed, but okay. So I, yeah, I mean, my, that's my take. I think he, I think they want everybody to focus on these other shows and people are right now. They are. I mean, I did think that was strange when he's like, we're in the middle of a record breaking season on Salt Lake and Potomac and sure, sure. And again, I'm finding Potomac a thousand times better than, you know, I think it's, it's a good season for Potomac. I just saw, listen, I am trying so hard. I am trying so hard to love this season of Salt Lake. I have nothing against it. I love each of these people. I think it's so interesting to watch Meredith and Lisa Barlow. I think they're just interesting to watch and observe. Whitney too is like, so they're just all, so it's like all the elements that are there. I want this to be great. So, okay, I'm going to give the second half of the season a real chance. I agree with you. Listen, and I wonder, and listen, you never know until you have the contract, right? But I mean, Rina is as cool as a cucumber. She is 